Hey guys, it's Landon from topbiosurveyor.org doing another video on some basic survey math. Uh, this is the second video in the set of videos we're doing that teach you how to work with azimuths and bearings. Uh, we, might, we might have one or two more, I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but um, anyways, in this video, uh, we're going to teach you how to convert from azimuths to bearings. And then we'll do another video that teaches you how to convert from bearings to azimuths. So if you're going to be a surveyor, you need to know how to go back and forth. Even if you're not going to be a surveyor, if you want to use a compass and a map, you should probably know how to do this. <laughs> so it's a central life skill, central life skill. Um, so we're going to get ready. Uh, if, if, if you haven't watched the first video I did that just talk about azimuths and bearings and, and which direction they're measured and kind of how we number the, the compass dial, uh, go back and watch that video before you watch this video. Okay, so in order to convert from azimuths to bearings, you just got to memorize some rules. So I've got the four rules over here. Okay, that help you uh, determine how to convert an azimuth to a bearing. Um, this is actually, you'll see, it's kind of what we call pseudocode, right? And what I need to do, if I remember, is I need to do a little video that teaches you guys how to code this, actually code this in Python, right? Because in the long run, um, humans shouldn't be doing a ton of math, longhand math, because we're not very good at it. Computers are way better at, at doing mathematical calculations with a bunch of errors. So it'd be cool uh, to, to code this up in Python, teach you guys a little Python, and, and you guys could have a little program, Python program, to cheat on your homework, your geometry homework. <clears throat> I would never condone that. That was a joke. All right. <clears throat> you could use it to check your answers, though. Okay, so here's the rules. If the azimuth is between 0 and 90, it's, this is the easiest one, okay? So if the azimuth is 0 to 90, the bearing is equal to the azimuth, and the quadrant is the northeast quadrant. If the azimuth is between 90 to 180 degrees, the bearing is equals to 180 degrees minus the azimuth, and the quadrant is in the southeast. Okay, the quadrant is the southeast quadrant. If the azimuth is from 180 to 270, the bearing is equal the azimuth minus 180, the quadrant is the southwest quadrant. If the azimuth is 270 to 360, the bearing is equal to 360 minus the azimuth, and the quadrant is the northwest. Now, I want to show you guys how these rules actually work. So let's just look at some examples here. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to give you four azimuths and we're going to convert them. Okay, so we're going to do an azimuth of 30 degrees. We're going to do an azimuth of uh, 190, 195 degrees. We're going to do an azimuth of 252, 252 degrees. And we're going to do an azimuth of uh 294 294 degrees i just made those up okay so we want to know what are these as bearings okay okay so we're going to go through these one by one okay so let's take our first one our azimuth is 30 degrees so we want to know which rule do we apply okay let's just number these rules we'll call this rule number one rule number two rule number three Rule number four, okay? So this azimuth of 30 degrees is between zero and 90, so we're gonna use rule one, okay? So in rule one, the bearing is equal to the azimuth in the, in the northeast quadrant, okay? So that's easy, they're equal, okay? So we put 30 degrees over here, and then to indicate our quadrant, we put northeast in E, okay? So an azimuth of 30 degrees is a bearing of north 30 degrees east, Okay, let's look at our second one. Our azimuth is 195 degrees. Okay, it's 195 degrees is bigger than 90, so we don't use rule one. Okay. <clears throat> rule two, 195 is bigger than bigger than uh, 180, so we skip rule two. R rule two. Okay, 195 is between 180 and 270, so we're going to use rule three. Okay, so in rule three, the bearing is equals the azimuth minus 180 degrees. Okay, so we take 195 minus 180 gives us 15 degrees. Okay, and then we write in our quadrant, rule number three, our quadrant is southwest. Okay, let's look at another one. This one's 252, azimuth of 252 degrees. 252 is bigger than 90, it's bigger than 180, but it's less than 270. So we're between 180 and 270. We're gonna use rule three, rule three again. Okay, we take the azimuth minus 180. So 252 minus 180 is 72 degrees, okay? And our quadrant is southwest. It's so gonna be south, 72 degrees west. Okay, so an azimuth of 252 degrees is a bearing of south, 72 degrees west. 
Okay, we've got one more. Okay, 294. 294 is our azimuth. It's larger than 90, so we skip rule one. It's larger than 180, so we skip rule two. It's larger than 270, so we skip rule three, but it's between 270 and 360. 294, we use rule four. Rule four, the bearing is equals to 360 degrees minus the azimuth. The quadrant is northwest, so we're gonna take 360 minus 294. Okay, so we got 66 degrees. Okay, and our quadrant is northwest. So an azimuth of 294 degrees is north 66 degrees west as a bearing. Okay, now I skipped one because I goofed up and I didn't do one for rule two, so we want to use rule two. So let's say we've got an azimuth of, I'm sorry, which one did I skip? I skipped three. So let's say we've got a, um, nope, let's see, 30, 195, which one did I skip? Ooh, we don't have anything between 90 and 180. I skipped rule two. Okay, so let's do, um, let's do 212 degrees. Nope, that's gonna be too big too, sorry. Let's do, uh, let's do 112 degrees. All right, there you go, okay. So we wanna know what's 112 degrees as a bearing. Come down here, okay, the bearing, okay, 112 is bigger than 90, okay, but it's less than 180. So we're between 90 and 180, we're gonna use rule number two. Okay, the bearing is equals to 180 minus the azimuth. So we take 180, we subtract 112. Okay, so we're gonna get, uh, let's see, 68. Okay, and our quadrant is southeast. Okay, so our azimuth of 112 degrees is south 68 degrees east as a bearing. Okay, so don't forget, this is your angle measure of your direction. Okay, and these two letters determine your quadrant, okay, in the bearing. And you need both. You need the number and the letters to have a proper bearing. Okay, now just so you guys know, sometimes you'll see these written out. So people will write a bearing like this. That's okay. It's no problem to do that. That's actually how I do it most of the time. Okay, and also in my other video I mentioned, we're just rounding things to the nearest whole degree here, but surveyors measure angles to the nearest second, they think. Okay, so we could actually, we could actually have something like this. So you could have a bearing that was south 68 degrees, 22 minutes, 32 seconds east. Okay, this is just a different precision. Okay, but the, the, the essential process is the same. All right, guys, so now you know how to convert from azimuths to bearings, okay? We'll, do, we'll work up a little Python program to do that. I'm gonna do another video that shows you how to go from bearings to azimuths. And the last video in this set is gonna be a video where I show you how to take two lines and calculate the angle between those two lines if you're given the bearings or the azimuths. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, appreciate it. If you're on YouTube and you like these videos, hit subscribe. If there's other surveyor type of things that you guys want to learn, comment in the channel or shoot me an email and we'll get it on our list of videos to do.